as you can see, Fright Night has come and gone, and the Universal Soldier is still your champion. When he got in this ring with Michael Judas, it was a walk in the park for the one man walking genocide as he hit post-traumatic stress disorder not once, but twice. And before we could even exit the ring, Michael Judas had crawled out this corner and ran out the back door like the coward that he is. I'm going to try and explain this to you, Judas, one more time. I don't know what your grudge against me or the NWA elite is. It was strictly a business decision. Let me give you an analogy that even you simpletons can understand. Just like your hero, Michael Vick, when he had a cur dog that couldn't fight, he drowned that filthy thing or he hung it from a tree. And as much as I would have loved to drown you, Judas, or seen you swinging from a tree, I merely discarded you like the rubbish you are. But you dared to show up in our building, and you got exactly what I told you you would get. And that's left flat on your back, a victim of the Universal Soldier. So, as great as all that was, and as much as I asked the soldier to join the soul assassin and take the night off, he said, hell no. I want to defend my title against anyone who's got the guts to get in this ring. So I'm begging anybody back there to come out here right now and take your chance with the universal Well, somebody apparently got a up on the offer. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> well, I understand that this young man's name is Josh Dynamite. I saw him here earlier this evening. Well, he's up at the... Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa! Total Eclipse by Iceberg. Oh, God, um, that's throws. I'm real impressed. Come do it to him. Well, wait a minute. We saw something like this happen at Fright Night. These two men staring off. What? Here comes the cavalry. What are they going to do? Wait a minute, security. Security jumping in. Trying to keep these two men separated. And I, I agree with the fans. Let them go. This is something that's going to explode sooner or later. Well, you got to remember, Iceberg is still, I mean, pretty much still do a shot at that Anarchy Heavyweight Championship held by Shatter. It was Shatter that took the title shot from Iceberg. Iceberg is the mandatory number. You want to fight Iceberg? Come on, come on. Wait a minute. Come on. Jeff G. Bailey's calling for somebody. I mean, Iceberg earned the number one contendership. She was not here to claim his shot. And here is the monster abomination. Iceberg is begging for it. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. And there is Michael Judas. These two men, you can argue that it was abomination that cost Michael Judas. The, the title, there was the mist, Yakuza kick. And out of camera range, Dominus has arrived in the arena, almost as if he was following Michael Judas, and now heading back out the door, camera not picking up any of that. But look at this in the ring, Michael Judas and Iceberg side by side, now face to face. These two men have been opponents more than once. NWA rep Bill Barron's out now. Michael Judas, Iceberg, Bailey. Shatter, Abomination. In two weeks, 
Reverend, in two weeks at the arena, shatter, abomination, you'll be facing Iceberg and Michael Judas. Whoa! An unholy alliance, and for the first time, Somebody's probably going to get hurt pretty badly. And Bill Behrens has a gift for understatement. Iceberg and Michael Judas have been on opposite sides more than once and kicks at the Reverend Dan Wilson. This is not a willing relationship.